with the people, for the people. Cluster FM 96.6. I'm lucky enough to have on the line at the moment, actually, uh, Filthy Phil Paris, yes, indeed. We're going to be going live to Phil Paris any second now, all right? He is in the British heavyweight title match on Saturday, the 4th of February at Gloucester Leisure Centre, GL1, against Wildcat Robbie Brooks. We're going to find out what, it, what this wrestling's all about right here, right now on GFM. OK, how you doing, Phil? As you've got this big fight, the British heavyweight title, on Saturday at the Leisure Centre. Are you ready for it or what? I'll tell you something, I'm more than ready for it. I haven't lost a match now in over four months. I've beaten everyone from Sonic the Hedgehog to Kermit the Frog, and I can't wait to get my hands on Robbie Brooks' side. Have you ever fought him before? I've fought him loads of times before. OK, okay so you're not frightened of him at all then, really? I, I wouldn't say I'm frightened of him, but I'm aware of him. And the one thing that's really, really making me on edge about this match at Gloucester Leisure Centre is the fact that I've never beaten Robbie Brookside. I've wrestled him about ten times, and every single time he, he, he's just come up at the right second. There's something about his finishing move that I just haven't been able to kick out of before in the past. But I'm telling you this now, I've been training. I've been on a strict diet of vegetables, steak. I've been eating sushi every single morning. And I'm with my chauffeur right now. I'm getting chauffeur-driven in a Rolls Royce to the gym right now. And I'm ready. I'm fired up. And I can't wait for Saturday. I've been training pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. How long have you been wrestling anyway, mate? Oh, crikey. Well, I'm, I'm not the youngest of fellows anymore. I'm 33 years of age now. And I'm, I suppose I've been wrestling about 18 years. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so this, this, this at your stage of your career would be fantastic to win the British title, yeah? It would be, it would be, it would be a dream come true. But the biggest dream come true would be I could finally stick my fingers up at all the morons out there in the audience <laughs> and all the idiots like Robbie Brookside and all the people that have obviously doubted me for all those years. They've paid. Yeah, I've lost a lot of matches before in the past, but I'm, I'm telling you something. I've even been doing a lot of MMA training recently. I've been working on my grappling, and I just know on Saturday I'm going to be able to hold Robbie Brookside shoulders down to the mat, one, two, three. If not, if not, I've been working on specialist submission holds, and I know across the leisure centre on Saturday night, that's right, Saturday night, and doors will be opening at about 7.30 for that show, and you can see me wrestle. Uh, it's main event time. It'll be 9 o'clock, and I'm ready. I'm pumped up. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Who's the hardest guy you've ever fought? Who's the hardest person I've ever fought? Yeah. Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest when I say this. Robbie Brooks himself is the toughest opponent I've ever fought. Right, OK. Robbie Brookside, right? he is by far the best wrestler in Europe. In oh. Europe. You know, Robbie Brookside has tried... Um, have you heard of WWE? Have you ever heard of WWE? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbie Brookside is responsible for training Daniel Bryan in WWE. He was the tag team partner of William Regal. And I just know it's time because once I beat him on Saturday night, which I will, that's going to make me the best wrestler in Britain. Yeah, and that would really please you. Would you go, if you were asked to go into the WWE, would you go over there? Um, I, I, I've been offered um, jobs with WWE before in the past, and I, I've, I've had various matches, but the, the only thing that's holding me back from WWE is Saturday Night and Robbie Brookside. That's more important than WWE, for me anyway, yeah. beating Robbie Brookside. That's my next focus. Of course, like, if I beat Robbie Brookside on Saturday night, I've... I'll be on a promise to go to WWE. They'll be ringing me up every five minutes because they'll know that I'm the best in Britain. Yeah. But whether I decide to go or not is another thing. I might take that British title and I might come back to Gloucester and I'll, I'll defend that against anybody on, that, on, on the wrestling roster. You name it, I'll take on anyone. But the most important thing is Saturday night, that's right, Saturday night at Gloucester Leisure Centre. Right, if you get past Robbie Brookside then... Who will be your next opponent? Have you any ideas? Is there anybody up in the rankings that's coming up to, to, to fight for the British heavyweight title? Well, Danny Collins is my friend. He's my mucker. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, there's only one guy that I really, really, really... I want to snap his neck in two places, <laughs> and that's got to be Matt Jarrett. Yeah? That's oh, got to be Matt Jarrett. I'd, I'd love to snap his neck in two places. The British Bulldog. 
Oh, crikey, I'd love to break every single one of his fingers. <laughs> Listen, thanks ever so much for this interview, Phil. I know that a lot of people are going to be coming down to, to the show on Saturday night. I wish you all the best. I hope you win, OK? But I hope it's a good... I think a good... it's time. I think it's time. I'm, I'm just about to start my squat thrusts now. Um, I'm going to do 150 press-ups after that. Then I'm going to go on the bench press. Then I'm going to eat two chickens and a raw egg. And then I'm going to get an early night to recover and get myself ready for Saturday night. What time do doors open Saturday night? I think doors open at seven, I think. And how much are tickets? I'm not quite sure how much the tickets are, mate, but we'll be advertising that anyway in our, in our uh, radio programme anyway. Well, I'll be seeing you there Saturday night. Have you got your front row seat booked? Right. Or the Do you know I haven't booked my front row seat yet because well, I was... I was a... because I've heard that tickets are selling pretty fast and if you want a front row seat, it's going to be pretty impossible to get a front row seat now because yeah. so many people have bought tickets. But is there any left? Because my chauffeur driver that's next to me that's driving me to the gym, Paul, he's just told me he wants to come. Oh, right, OK. Well, he'll have to... Will, will there be any tickets for him? Does he have to hurry up and book now? Well, you might have to muscle your way in there and get him a seat, you know what I mean? I, I, the only reason I don't want a front row seat is because it's got filthy Phil Powers. What's that all about, then? Well, I, 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 I'm a nasty, terrible, vile, rotten man. That's what that's about. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will take you by the throat, I'll put my hands around your throat, and I will squeeze until your veins pop out of your head. And maybe if you're there Saturday night, I could do that to you as well. Oh, no, I don't think I'm that physical to take you on, actually, Phil. Listen, I wish you all the best, mate. Have a great, great night, all right? Enjoy yourself at the wrestling. Uh, all the best for it, all right? And I hopefully speak to you again soon. Thank you very much. Cheers, bye -bye. cheers buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Serving the heart and soul of Gloucester. This is GSM. I'll tell you what, I've just got on the line now, and I'm going to go straight over to the phone lines straight away. Um, hello, Matt. Are you there? Yeah, Perry. How are you doing? Wagwan. Well, yeah, this is Wagwan. Well, you all right, though? Yeah, man, I'm all right. I'm a cool man. Yeah, listen, let me introduce you to the public. This is Matt, who is the British Bulldog. Yes, indeed. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, the English Bulldog, mate. Yeah. That's the very old. You've known me a long time, Perry. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. Now, listen, what what, what, what do you think about this uh, challenge, then, from Phil Powers? You can tell the people of Gloucester from me. I'm a Gloucester man, and I will take on Phil Powers... Even if he loses against Robbie Brookside, I want to fight him down there the next time. Yeah, and I'll bet you'll snap every finger in his hand as well, won't you? No, I tell you what, I'll make sure it's a street fight, no rules, no regulations, and there'll be no referee. All right, all right. It's great that you got so involved and got back to us so quick, actually. And I'm quite sure Phil will be listening to this thinking like, oh, he stirred it straight away. <laughs> well, I, I just love a man from Essex who's got a big mouth, you know what I mean? That's it, yeah. One of, one of the right. Gloucester man can take him down, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Absolutely, Listen, Matt, thanks ever so much for calling up so quick, all right? You take care, and I'll speak to you very soon. Good luck at the weekend, right, yeah? Mate. How are the tickets going for this? Are the tickets going good? Yeah, they're going very well. I think we're going to have a packed house on Saturday night. I'm looking at about a 1,000 people. That'll, a thousand. that'll be absolutely brilliant, mate. I hope you have a really, really great night down there at GL1, OK? You take care, yeah. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Perry. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. That's the word, you heard me? Yes, yes, yes.